In this video, I'm going to discuss how to package a print for shipping. First, I'm going to go over shipping small prints and then larger prints. Both sizes of prints, I always wrap them in a polypropylene bag. These are available from a company called Clear Bags. You can also get them on Amazon, but they are just an empty bag and there is an adhesive strip on the back. Um, these are called the protective closure bags if you are looking on clearbags.com. They also have ones that are flap seal bags and it, the adhesive is on the flap. Um, I like the protective closure ones. To use these, all you do is you take your print, you slide it inside because it is an envelope, and then you take off the adhesive strip cover and then you close it just like you would an envelope and then it protects it because these bags are archival. I think this is important when shipping to protect your prints, whatever you've printed them on, whether it's a matte paper or a photo paper, because these, sometimes when you're shipping things, it gets dust inside your boxes and tubes and bags because they go through a lot. Sometimes they're left out in the rain or moisture in a very humid environment sitting on your porch. Um, the sunlight, the freezing cold, you know, they go through a lot, especially if you're shipping quite a distance. And sometimes, you know, as artists, we're shipping all over the world. And so putting them inside these just helps protect them from all that stuff. When shipping small prints, I like to ship them flat. And so it's important to have a backing board that's the same size or a little larger than the print. But I usually just use a backing board the same size as the print. These backing boards I also get from clear bags. So you can buy a matching set of the bags and the backing boards that fit together on their site. So then you have the backing board and the prints and then the bag, you slide it inside you seal it up. I get these envelopes on Amazon. They also have them on Uline if you want to buy like a really big amount of them. Another company that I've bought them from is the Boxery. So these are bubble pack envelopes. I usually get the size of envelope to match exactly the size of print. So you can do the measurements on whatever you have. I slide them inside. I also add business cards and a coupon to all my orders. And last, I add a sticker on there that says do not bend. If you don't have stickers or you don't want to purchase them, I got mine on Amazon. You can just search on their do not bend stickers. <laughs> but if you don't want to purchase these, you can just write do not bend on there as well. I'm trying to make the workflow as easy as possible for myself so I don't have to handwrite everything on these. But when I first started out, I was writing do not bend. If you don't add the do not bend to these flat packages, sometimes postal workers will take these and bend them to shove them in a mailbox or a post office box so you got to be aware of that so just make it really clear and if you see that you're shipping like to an apartment or a PO box I would put a sticker and write it on both sides really big so that way they know that they're not allowed to bend this for larger prints, it's safest to ship them in shipping tubes. Now I have several different types of shipping tubes here. If you are just starting out shipping prints, you might just wanna get one size of tube that will fit all of the different sizes of prints that are larger that you make. So that way you don't have to store as many of them and it's just a little bit easier on you. But I like to get like this size, which is a two inch for my 11 by 14 prints. And then my other size prints up to 16 by 20 will go in a three inch tube. With larger prints, instead of putting the backing board on there, you just put it inside the bag, but then you can roll it up small enough that it will fit inside the tube, in it goes safe and sound. And then there are end caps that you stick in the corners. I get my shipping tubes from a company called Uline and also on Amazon. It just kind of depends on the pricing. Sometimes Uline charges a lot for shipping and then I can find them cheaper on Amazon because they'll ship Prime for free. So you just have to look around and find the best deal on those. If you don't want to buy like 50 of them, which is what they require typically when you're ordering them online, you can also find them for sale at stores like the UPS store or any sort of shipping store. It in your town. The thing is, is that sometimes they charge a lot more for boxes and tubes if you're buying singles versus if you're buying like a whole like 10 or 20, 50 of them at a time. So you just have to judge how much you're shipping, how often you're shipping and whether or not it's worth it to buy them in bulk. Also, if you're looking for free shipping supplies, you can go to usps.com. You can get padded envelopes from them. That's what these are. It's a padded flat rate envelope. It has bubble wrap inside of it on both layers, just like the ones that I showed you in the first example. Um, these ones cost about a dollar a piece if you're buying them on Amazon. These are free, but the catch here is that you have to ship these priority mail 
And so I don't usually use these because I can ship a lot cheaper, even if I pay for insurance by having my own envelope that I purchased for a dollar and then shipping first class mail. So that's just one consideration to have in mind is just kind of be budget conscious about it. But if you're only shipping a few things out and you really just don't have the money to spend on shipping supplies right now until you get your business kind of bootstrapped and up and going, these are a great way. You can just order them for free. So same thing with shipping tubes. USPS also has shipping tubes. They're actually a triangular box. I don't have any of them in here to show you offhand or I would, uh, but they're, they're larger so I use them when I'm shipping my 24 inch wide prints but you can use them for smaller prints too again you have to ship priority mail if you use one of their tubes but it is nice it's convenient if you don't want to buy a bunch of shipping tubes you can get them delivered to you for free in packs of 10. Well I hope this information was helpful if you would like to learn more about making art prints of your paintings look in the description area of this video I have a whole series that I've made on everything from photographing your paintings painting to printing them, which printers I use and all of that. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time.